Hello once again YouTubers, this is Evenball. It is September 10th, 2015, and I got a bunch of games for you again. So I'm going to start out right off with a batch of five NES games that I got at Value Village. These were 30% off uh, the mark price, um, and uh, it was a really good deal, as you'll see. First up, I got Goonies 2. And a uh, fantastic uh, Metroidvania-style game, pretty early, but uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, very well known by, by most uh, gamers. Next up, Double Dragon 2, another fantastic game, and uh, this is only five, marked at 5 bucks, and so was Goonies 2. And uh, now on to the uh, even better games. Let's start off with Mega Man 3. This is the first Mega Man game, actually, that I've gotten for the NES. I don't have any of the others. So uh, I'm glad to finally get a good, cheap copy of Mega Man 3. This is marked at 10 so it's only $7. Not bad. And uh, for the same price, I also got Castlevania. Another Konami classic. And uh, this one's not like the Metroidvanias, although it is a Castlevania game. It's... Uh, but uh, it, you should know this one. It's a fantastic uh, linear side-scrolling game. And the last game I got uh, is one of the more unusual games. It's called SCAT. It's a, a terrible name for a game, but it stands for a Special Cybernetic, Cybernetic Attack Team. Uh, terrible name for a game, but a fantastic shoot 'em up type game. And uh, it's two players, and it's a lot of fun. This is one of the more expensive NES titles. It usually goes for around a hundred bucks or so, or so. But I got, I was able to get for thirty-five, which is a real steal. Okay, so let's move right along. I also got a bunch of GameCube games this these last few weeks. So let's start off with uh, NBA Street Volume 3. Oh, back. Don't get excited. NBA Street Volume 3, which, yes, it does indeed have Mario and uh, Luigi and Peach in it as well. It's a very strange little uh, thing with uh, EA and Nintendo. They did have Mario in this game, so uh, that's going to be interesting. And this one that couldn't wait, I have oh, there's another one: Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the uh, uh, four, no third uh, Harry Potter movie, and a really good Harry Potter movie. Uh, this makes uh, w the second to the last Harry Potter game that I need for this system, in order to have all all of them. So the last one I need is the Sorcerer's Stone. Believe it or not, the uh, the first game in the series is actually the hardest to find on the GameCube. And next I have a game that uh, is well known, Time Splitters 2. This one's a player's choice game, but uh, I have a hard time finding this one out in the wild for whatever reason. Uh, so I thought I might as well grab it. It's in good condition. And uh, I don't have to be picky all the time. So, uh, but this is a fun first-person shooter. I have Time Splitters Three already, which is the hard to find one, the even harder to find one. But uh, glad to finally get this one in my collection. Now I got a few Madden games. These were all a dollar each, so I thought I might as well just get them out of the way. First up is Madden 2005. And I got Madden 2004, and of course Madden 2002. Now I also found a sealed GameCube game, and that is Donkey Konga 2. Just 
totally brand new and sealed. This was only uh, five bucks, so not a bad price at all. And uh, I'll see if I can. I might open this one and play it. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I I haven't opened up most of my sealed games yet. Uh, it's kind of neat to have a few sealed games around. But that game looks fun. Speaking of sealed games, I have even more. I just couldn't uh, get away from the sealed games this uh, this last month. I also have on the PlayStation 2 Siren. Found this one for seven bucks. Not bad. Uh, it's supposed to be a really scary game. Never played it, but uh, it looks like it'd be really scary if I decide to open it. And I have a sealed DS game, which is Dig Dug Digging Strike. This was not $10. This was actually $4. I found a place that was selling a bunch of games for $4 a piece at the swap meet. And uh, this was in there. Along with this, I also got Trace Memory for the Nintendo DS, which is a pretty interesting looking game. And I got three Dreamcast games. They're all $4 each. Floygan Brothers. Revolt. It's a fun uh, uh, car game. And a game I don't know too much about. Toy Commander. It's kind of bizarre and fun. Okay, but that's not all. I got even more games here. I got, uh, also recently, uh, I picked up Contra Shattered Soldier for the PlayStation 2. Yeah, it's only two bucks, and this is actually not a bad Contra game. It's, uh, surprisingly for the PlayStation 2, they, they decided to go classic Contra on this one and make it, uh, 2D side-scrolling and, and, uh, crazy and weird, and it works. It's not a bad game at all. Now I have another sealed game, uh, and uh, another one that I purchased at the uh, swap meet. This was only a dollar, but it's another big box game, and it's called Heart of Darkness. And uh, I've heard a lot about this game. I've heard it's actually uh, pretty good. Um, I don't know all that much about it, but I know it's made from the guy who made Out of This World which is a very popular game. And he, he spent uh, years making this game, and it uh, didn't really catch on. And unfortunately, that was pretty much the end of his career. But uh, this is supposed to be a pretty interesting game. Unfortunately, it's sealed, so I really can't play this version unless I open it, which I, I might do. But I don't really have to because I just so happen to find the PlayStation version, which uh, is opened. Just missing the instructions, but uh, I may as well give this one a whirl and see what it's all about. Also, I got uh, Animaniacs Tin Pin Alley because it's only two dollars, and I love Animaniacs. This looks like a kind of an interesting and funny uh, bowling game. And I got two more games, and these when I bought these games, these are the only games I purchased that week because it, I spent a lot on these, but they were worth it. First up is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Hyperstone Heist for the Genesis. Uh, I don't have the price tag on here, but it's 25 bucks, which is actually a really good deal for this game because this game is really expensive. It's about 50 bucks, uh, uh, just uh, cart only. So that's actually a pretty good deal, and uh, this game is actually a lot of fun. It's, it's basically Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, but uh, remixed with a lot of the stages uh, changed and a few stages that weren't in there added in and a completely different story so uh, but it's a lot of fun I mean it reuses some assets from the Super Nintendo game but uh, it they do a really good job with it and it's a great game and I also got a shooter for the Genesis and this is called Gaires or Gary's or however you pronounce it I I, I, I my uh, my instinct is to call it Gaia Res because it looks like Gaia for Earth and Res. So, uh, but uh, this is a fun shooter. It's really weird. You have a small little ball attached to you to the front of your ship, and you can shoot it at enemies, and it will absorb power from the enemies, and it will upgrade your weaponry. It's a pretty interesting idea, and it's a lot of fun. All right, that's all for this 
time. Uh, I'm going to be uh, having a new, another uh, uh, episode up in the next week to cover even more games I've gotten recently. So uh, stay tuned until then.